welcome back to my channel miss peggy here today is april the 27th tuesday and you know what that is that's when we go penny shopping but i got a couple things um i want to talk to y'all about before uh, we jump right into that but um anyway i want to thank all of my um friends that are Part of this pennies 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 group on facebook because um i tell you i just love that group uh y'all post your pictures of your penny finds and i post mine and everybody just post everybody's pennies and it helps the more visuals that we have the better it is uh at finding them because i do better with visuals so y'all just keep posting those penny finds and i'll keep posting mine because i think that um it also helps us with um it helps me anyway uh with the questions and stuff you know when somebody asks it's like well what's the barcode on this and if i don't see it right away y'all will uh step in and, and give them that barcode and I thank y'all for that because that helps me too. So, um, yeah, I love it whenever somebody is like, well, what penny? And they're like, well, it was this or that. And then they're going, well, what's the barcode? And then y'all just uh, share it. So uh, it's like communication. I just love it. So that's what I wanted to tell y'all. And, uh, you know, the the books pennied. Um, I showed showing that at the start of this video. The pennies of the bending books and stuff that uh, penny today and so I went in search for them I didn't find a lot of them I'm not even sure if I found one of them but I did find penny books but I don't think they're the correct uh, bending books but I did find a display one of those dark blue cardboard displays we were supposed to be looking for and it was right in the middle of the aisle right by the books and stuff but it was all empty. There was not one book in it. And I looked on both sides. I looked to see if something dropped down or something. It's like, no. It was the whole display with nothing in it. So I guess they took them to the back. But anyway, um, also when I was penny shopping today, uh, I found a few surprise pennies in the books. So, um, and in the clearance aisle. So uh, let me get started. I want to show y'all what I found today. So like I said, I want to thank all the new people. Um, y'all go to the dollar, I mean, go to the Play Store, download the Dollar General app. It's a big yellow square. It has a DG in it. It's yellow with black letters. DG stands for Dollar General, Dollar Generous. And, um, Download that app and then when you open it go down to the bottom Click on the list and it'll be highlighted yellow when you click on it and then when you're under the list Tap on the little three bars at the top so you can scan and then scan everything in that um, Dollar General app and it'll tell you what the price is before you get to the register it <coughs> It will also tell you if your coupon attaches to it so when you scan the item say it's the tide pods and you uh the price comes up it'll usually subtract your coupon and it'll show you what your out of pocket price is going to be and if you scroll down a little bit you'll see the coupon right there so um that's how we do and find those penny items but let me show you what i found today and uh see if any of y'all are surprised well the very first bag this is robert's bag i really i picked these out for him but it is a good deal i mean uh it's discounted stuff so i'll just show them to you right quick before we move on i got three items for 90 cents and they're three of robert's favorite and if y'all watch y'all know this i went ahead and got him some easter cotton candy and the cotton candy was 30 cents so this is normally like a dollar but since it's 30 cents that'd be like what 70 percent off i'm not good with that percentage stuff and not ashamed to admit it either but 
I got him two of these too. Robert loves them Tootsie Rolls. So, anyway, I got those three things right there for 90 cents. And that normally would be $3 for these three things. I think the Tootsie Rolls are normally a dollar. But, uh, yeah, all three of these for... I don't know. I never get a thumbnail. I always try, but I never do. Anyway, you'll see that uh, the Tootsie Rolls and the cotton candy was 30 cents because of the clearance price for the um, Easter candy. That is considered Easter candy, all three of those. Now, um, let me show you this one. This one store. This store is an NCI store, but I didn't get anything that was an NCI product. But when I saw this, this was in the books. When I scavengered through the books trying to find the penny books, look, uh, you know, those have been a penny to a while. And uh, when I saw that, I was like, oh, ho, ho, let me scan that because I am really sure that's a penny. <laughs> so I was tickled about that. But, um, you know, I think this book is one of the uh, penny books for today. I'm not sure. Maybe y'all can tell me, but. Is that one of them? Uh, I haven't checked my list and compared the barcodes, but uh, it's a bending book. But um, I'm going to check and see if this one is on there. But it's on the go, and it is the thick pages for the little bitty, little bitty kids that tear pages. So they need these thick cardboard pages so they don't tear the pages. But then... Um, the Minion book, the Minion book that's Penny, are these little books. Um, there are bigger books that's been in the clearance aisle for a while, and they were not the Penny ones. This one I found in the book section, and it's a smaller one. And um, I was surprised. Uh, it does have a date on it of 717. And this date over here by the barcode says 2 of 16. But anyway, this is the one that's that's pennied. That's a cute little find. Now, this was in the books. <laughs> yeah, that was just in the books, laying down. Hooked in the wire, so somebody had it in their hand and just left it in there. But, yeah, this is Easter. I mean, Easter. Listen to me. Miss Peggy Dunn lost her mind. Whenever is Santa Easter. <laughs> but, anyway, this is Christmas. And it has been a penny for a while. So, I thought that was funny when I saw it. Now, this is a coupon. This Old Spice Pure Sport Body. Now, I don't know if Robert doesn't like this. This is body wash. But I'll tell you what. This body wash right here gave me 50 cents overage. Because it's $4.50. And the digital coupon is $5 off of one. So, it gives you 50 cents overage. So, you can see it's the top one right there. So, clip this coupon and pick this up and you can get 50 penny items to go with it and still walk out for free. <coughs> right? Right. So, I only had to pay $1.44 because I got me a Mountain Dew. So, 
you know, Mountain Dew's a dollar and ninety cents. So with the fifty cents overage and a few pennies, four penny items, um, it took almost fifty cents off of my uh, soda. So I paid a dollar forty four for the body wash and everything with the penny items. And um, that's pretty good with the Mountain Dew. I like Mountain Dews. Y'all like Mountain Dews? I love them Mountain Dews. Now, that's it for that store. Now, let's see. I went to this store. And um, this has caught my eye in the flowers. I was like, well, them some orange flowers. I said, that, that kind of looks like fall. So I was like, well, let's pull it out and look. So I pulled it out, and uh, it has a blue dot. And the blue dots that were not a penny had green dots on them. And they were excluded, but this one didn't have a dot on it. It just $3, a blue sticker. Where, where is that? There it is. And it was a penny. I scanned it, and it was a penny. And that's one of my favorite colors is orange. Fall. Fall is my number one color. And I've decorated my house with a lot of fall stuff. But anyway, I got that. And I was walking down the aisle where they have all the spring and summer stuff. And on the top shelf, all of this was sitting on the top shelf all together pretty much just like this on the top shelf and I'm like well that could be planners you know I've got a few planners over here that have the spirals so I pulled it down <laughs> calendars I like this one. Isn't that cute? That little dog right there. If I was going to do crafts, I'd use that for crafts. Put that on something. Decoupage it. And, um, academic planner. Now then, this is a hardback planner. Hardback planner. And these were up there with it on the top shelf <laughs> somebody stuck them up there with the planner so I don't know where they found these at but instead of taking them to the back they just stick them on the top shelf for Miss Peggy to find them <laughs> isn't that funny I love it and they're bending <laughs> but these are definitely Christmas but um I thought that was funny. Very funny. The top one right there is going to be the flowers. That's the bush. Like eight items for eight cents. I love it when it does that. But then I went to this store. And... In the clearance aisle, this was laying on the clearance shelf. You know, it's a brown dot. You know, I got one of these last week. It's sitting right there. And I'm going to put this in my yard sale. You know, I only have two days left to my yard sale. And uh, this is normally $8.00. I'm going to put this in my garage sale for $2. I just paid $0.80 cents for it because it's 90% off. Yeah, $0.80 cents I paid for it. And I'm going to ask $2 for it. So I'm going to make a dollar and 20 cents on this. And I paid $0.80 cents for the one I got last week too. Now, I found some books see what else is in here and uh, now this 
you know up there by the register they've got this square island thing has shelves on it and a lot of times they put the suntan lotion on it and just different things mis miscellaneous things they'll put on there but it, it has four sides to it and there's like where they can put stuff on two or three or four of the sides anyway this was up there and I hardly found any of these this is a three pack a three pack of those hand warmers now when I saw this I did not think that was going to be a penny because I thought they were individual that penny and this is a three pack and it was a penny now there's the barcode right there I couldn't believe I found that but it was it was just laying up there that somebody put there and I'm sure it hadn't been there all that long because I check those every store I go to I check those up by the register now then this is a Dora Explorer giant coloring and activity book and I got two of those um, And then I got uh, this little joyful coloring book, inspirational coloring book. Has a bicycle on it. Then I got um, this large print Bible words. This is the one you're looking for. So even though um, I didn't find a lot of the penny books that were on the list, I just love that tree. That's pretty. I like that. But um, there's plenty of penny books. Here's another one just like it. Another one of those word search books. Now then, oh, oh, these are Bible word searches. But one of them is pink and one of them is gray. Both of them are a penny. And then this is a laugh out loud activity book the three dollar one so i got uh, 10 of the books and the hot hands i really am glad i got these that's really cool but anyway, I got, um, oh, I paid 89 cents. Oh, the, because of the wall sconch, the wall sconch I paid 80 cents for. So I paid 89 cents for 10 items. There's the barcodes on them if you need them. Okay, now this store was the last store I went to, and I didn't really find but like one or two items. So I also picked up some uh, Valentine's candy. I love jelly beans, and these are sweet tart jelly beans. You know, they're on sale right now. So let me see how much I paid the wrong receipt let me see how much I paid okay the jelly beans 75 cents so that whole bag is 75 cents so that's a lot of candy. Now, these are considered Easter. 
Now, these cookies are Oreo cookies, but since they're considered Easter, they were only a dollar and twenty cents. Now, Oreo cookies, the family size, is usually like three dollars and something. So, I'm not sure. I think that's seventy percent off. But if you see any of these lemon cookies, they are part of the Easter, so they'll be discounted. So, dollar twenty for this whole bag. Um, that's pretty good for lemons. So. Here's a barcode just in case if you want to put them in your, in your phone or whatever. But Robert don't know I got those yet. But anyway, um, I paid $2.04 at this store because I got some um, the Oreo cookies and the sweet tarts. And then the rest of them are pennies. But... The Oreos are down toward the bottom if you need to get that barcode again. But, yeah, I did pretty good. And uh, then I was digging in the books. And look what I found in the books. That was in the books. And as soon as I pulled it out, I knew. Valentine's, right? <laughs> So I scanned it, and it was a penny, so got a little box of chocolates here. And um, let's see if I can even find a date on it. Just for fun. Now, they're not going to give us expiration date on these. But anyway, some Valentine. Now, I'm going to tell you... I didn't find many books in here, but in this store, I saw the books was messy. I mean, very messy. A lot of them messy. A lot of the stores are neat. But this particular store is very messy. You could see underneath the books, there was a lot of books and stuff under the rack. Falling down behind wherever. I don't know how they get down there. But they were underneath the wire rack. Now, I wasn't finding very many books at that store. And it's kind of like my last store before I head home. And it was coming up on 1 o'clock. So, I decided, hmm, wonder if I could get any of those books out from under that rack. And I wonder how many of them is a penny. So, I sat down on the floor, which I generally do. Um, I sat down on that floor, and I started moving books on that bottom shelf where I could see underneath. And um, I pried a few of them out. I, this one was one of them. And this is a blue dot, and the date on it is... F-17. Now, Blue Dot F-17, I think, pennied last summer, the Blue Dot. Because the summer before that, we had the Yellow Dot pennied and then the Blue Dot pennied. But this is a puzzle. Now, I don't know if it's considered one of the ones on the list. There are puzzles on the list or not. But... I found this underneath the rack. Then I found this. In the books. Not under the rack. But it was a penny. Now I'm pretty sure this is not on the list. But it's a Mickey Mouse, Disney, Scribble, and Coloring Book. I guess those must be crayons. Shaped like blocks. But it's a bending... Now, I don't know if this is on the list, but it does have a K on it. And they say that if it has a K on it, it's supposed to be on the list. So, I'm going to check it and see. I haven't yet. 
But here's a Dory Explorer. Now this was underneath the rack. Three dollars under the rack. And it did take me a little while to get my finger in there and push and pull. And um, I even would use another book under there to, to kind of scoop them out with. So, uh, yeah, it took a little bit, but I got it out. And when I scanned it, it was a penny. And I pulled this one out of the uh, regular spot for the books. And it's a large print Bible word search. And it's a penny. And then this was underneath and I pulled it out and it's normally three dollars and it was a penny and then this Mickey Mouse book was underneath you can tell it was kind of dirty right there but I'm gonna get a wash rag and wash that off but it's a Mickey Mouse book coloring book an activity book and it was a penny and then this was in the books also now I had just had one of those yeah almost just like it is the Mickey Mouse and this is a, a shimmer so you got the Mickey Mouse that pennied and you got the shimmer so both of those had pennies now this is a Batman coloring book and it was underneath and it is a little bit dirty right there, you can see. But I'm just going to wash it off. You know, these covers are uh, plastic coated. But anyway, whew, starting to get a little warm in here. I guess I should take my shirt off. Let me turn the fan on. <laughs> Whew. and take my shirt off Whew. that might be the last time Whew. that you see Miss Peggy wearing a coat <laughs> because that's not a coat but it is a jacket um, keep me warm but that's all I needed this morning I mean when I left the house at five minutes till eight that's all I wore is that thin little jacket. That's all we needed because spring has sprung here in Texas. And um, after yesterday and then after uh, the weather's warmed up, after tomorrow, the rain is going to be gone. And it is nothing but springtime in North Texas. We have gotten past the last cold. Uh, in the south, we don't have cold after the 14th or 15th of April. And so, whew, it's been fun. But anyway, that's what I got today. Uh, I was really excited. I spent a little money today because I got some of the clearance on the Easter stuff. So, you know, if you see something that you like, don't wait for it to penny. Go ahead and buy it. Because, like I said, uh, these were on the bottom shelf on the end cap where they just had a very limited amount of Easter stuff left. And when I saw it down there, I was like, lemon Oreos. It's like, I don't know, let's scan them and see. And when they come up $1.20, I knew they wasn't regular Oreos. And they had to be an Easter. But anyway, y'all go get you some. And don't forget to get this, because this gives you 50 cents overage. Now, this is $4.50, and I just got it for free. And I'm going to put it in my yard sale for $2.00. And um, so that's a money maker. That's what they call money maker. <laughs> so anyway, I love y'all. Y'all go get y'all some pennies and use them digital coupons. And um, I'm going to have my yard sale this Thursday. So tomorrow is go time. I'm going to get up tomorrow. And I'm going to start moving stuff from this bedroom into the living room by the front door. And Robert and I already went in the back. And pulled out, we've got this 
four by eight piece of plywood that usually sits on the floor in the back room and we pulled it up and uh, brought it around under the carport and it's laying on the carport and just laying down on the concrete and we drove the car on top of it so it's already there so Wednesday afternoon uh, Wednesday night we're going to be putting that up on the uh, little um, saw horses that I made the table out of my next door neighbor thank you Leo he loaned me one of his uh, like lunch tables and uh, I've got a couple of big tables myself I got one in the backyard there's my um, outdoor table I'm gonna move it around the front so the next time y'all see me it's gonna be at my yard sale and I'm gonna try to go live so I'm gonna go ahead and put a deal in to go live right now so y'all look forward to it probably be thursday we'll go live at my yard sale and we'll see what's going on i've never done a, a live before so after i get this posted i'm gonna go ahead and um see what i can do to pre uh put a deal that says peggy will be live at this time on thursday so look forward to that i'm gonna try my best i haven't ever done it before but I have a son that keeps saying, when you going to go live? When you going to go live? I said, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, um, we are going to have the yard sale Thursday, this Thursday. So, adios from North Texas, and goodbye from Cowtown. And I forgot to tell you that I met a young lady at the Dollar General a while ago that knew me. And she said she watched my videos, and she was a new watcher. And her name was uh, uh, Bridget. Her name's Bridget. So, hello, Bridget. Welcome. And uh, I hope to meet you again. And she said she had a YouTube channel. And her YouTube channel was something Dishing with Diane or something. And I can't find her. I found Dishing with Diane, but it's not the right one. So, I'm going to keep looking for her. If y'all find her or you know about her, let me know. But anyway, I love y'all and I'll see y'all in my next video.